few that everyone always talks about from Quebec is you and your brother against the Garbins. Uh, do you want to go over your memories of that feud? Yeah, for, well, actually, it's something that just came out out of the blue because uh, it was a coincidence because Jimmy Garvin was here for the summer. He had called Gino to be booked and uh, for the summer because he was going to spend the summer in Quebec and so I'll pick up a few shots, pay his, his expenses. At the same time, Ronnie Garvin, and they hadn't spoken to each other, Ronnie Garvin decided to come to Montreal. They came in, finally they wound up, and Ronnie, the same thing. He wanted, he wanted to spend the summer, see his parents a bit because they were getting older. And uh, that's when the, they came up with the idea, hey, we could team you guys up, Jimmy Garvin, Ronnie Garvin, and uh, we could work an angle with the Rougeaus and, you know, see how it goes. So they said, uh, sure, why not? They didn't expect, you know, they expect that. And then we did the angle at the Forum, the uh, Saint-Jean-Baptiste Massacre, which turned out, I mean, like I said, it was so intense and so real that, even the next day, you had a hard time walking, you know. But it 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 it, it touched something here in the in the province. It touched the people. It touched it. my my dad was implicated in it. But it, it just I don't know. It just touched a chord, and it set off something where we established uh, you know uh, attendance records all over in the province, and it just. And the thing about that, to, you know, sometimes people ask me, what was one of your best matches you had? It's the Garvins and the Rougeaus at the Montreal Forum, the return from when we did the angle. When we did that return, for me, that's one of the best matches I ever had. The intensity was out of this world. The, it was a sellout at the Forum. Uh, they turned people away in the streets. The, the, the screaming was so loud. The people were yelling so loud that it was distorting in the ears. It, you know how if you turn up a speaker too loud, all of a sudden the sound just vibrates, it doesn't sound... That's what it was sounding like in the ears. It was so loud. And the, the Garvins brought the best out of the Rougeaus, and I think the Rougeaus brought the best out of the Garvins. It was just, like I said, a match made in heaven. Everybody brings out the best of each other, and everybody was intense. Ronnie Garvin's a tight worker, rugged worker, which that I appreciate, and uh, I like to be that way too. Jimmy Garvin brought compliment to Ronnie's style. I have my style. My brother compliments my style. So everybody complimented each other, and it, it came out with a winning uh, recipe. Were you surprised when Ronnie Garvin went on to become NWA world champion? No. Uh, for me, he, it was very deserving, rightfully so. He's, he's a very credible, excellent worker. He, and he was in the right organization. At the uh, NWA... It was different than the WWF back then. Uh, they were still, you know, like Ted Turner would call it, still wrestling. <laughs> yeah. Well, Ronnie Garvin was a wrestler. And uh, he fit into that mold, he fit into that type, and that's who Ronnie Garvin was. So, you know, he, he, was, um, he was perfectly deserving of his spot as NWA champion. Too bad it didn't last longer. But, like I said, in the business, there are always politics, and there, you know, there are reasons for that. But I wasn't surprised. I was happy for him. He deserved it.